that a camera? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. You choose the stickers? Yeah, I choose the stickers. Based on the person? And what they bought. Oh, okay. I also, like, this is so great. Where is the sticker man? center drum heats up to 200 C, which is about 400 degrees. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. So pretty. Hey, if this were going to be a poster, we print right the right way. And we'd be printing up probably a glossy photo paper. That's this stuff here. This is a fabric of blue. So you can feel this side is rough. That's the straight with hot dark And so. Yeah. 
Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I do hope you enjoyed the little tour of the rickshaw factory in San Francisco. It was in Dog Patch. It was a really lovely neighborhood and it was my first time actually in that area. And Mark and Cheryl took us around the factory, also welcomed the students who attended my workshop on how to use clear stamps so special thanks to everyday explorers co for collaborating with me as well as to friends and to kimberly for helping out on that day it was very busy but everyone braved the heat and went to the workshop so i do hope you enjoyed and in line with that i just want to quickly talk about some of the items i have from rickshaw bags because they are just like my personal favorite um, storage, like, I don't know, stationary and pen storage, I guess, at the moment, because they're just very versatile. And also, I want to talk about the collab that I did with them that you're seeing right here. So, if you've seen in the vlog earlier, Mark does run rickshaw bags and they create a wide variety of bags cases, pouches, and whatnot, and they do it um, fresh daily at their factory in San Francisco. And actually, the first item that I got here that really kickstarted everything was this one. And this is a three pen koozie. And the reason that I got this was Job gave it to me last year for as a gift we both have the same one and this is Starry Night by Van Gogh and I didn't realize how much I used it until like this year when I started to travel more so I carry a bunch of fountain pens never really knew where to put them or I end up just bringing one so with this three pen koozie I just decided to bring three and like house them here so my inside joke is they do fly first class they really do though and it's very furry and soft and it was so fun getting to touch actually this material that was available in the factory and mark was like this is the one i use because it's so comfortable and it's so good for the pens so that way your pens don't get scratchy and also they don't touch each other and also you know it's proper um they have their own um, bed space, basically. So I really like this three pen koozie so much so that this year at the San Francisco International Pen Show, I decided to get another one. Well, also with the convincing of Job because he got the sunflower one. So I also did get the sunflower one. I have a whole San Francisco Pen Show haul video that I posted before this video. So make sure to check that out. So at the moment, I do have three pens here. So, it's my Sailor Manyo Pro Gear Slim in Nuts. My Nagasawa, as of this filming, is going to be sent to the Pen Hospital. So, more updates on that next time because it fell on the floor. So, I currently have this as a replacement. This is a brand new pen that I got. It's a Pilot Kakuno Limited Edition with Mizutama's illustration. I think it's a Hello Tohoku collab. Um, Christine gave this to me so sweet. Thank you so much, Christine. So um, I'm using it at the moment. And then I do have my Holy Grail pen, which is my Pilot Custom 823 in amber and in fine. So I just like having the three pen koozie because it's just easy for me to grab and go. And also when I'm journaling, these are the three pens that I usually get. Um, I don't put my kawaikos inside though because they're a bit shorter so for my kawaiko it's usually like clipped on one of my traveler's notebooks or it's in my pen case because it's very um, portable and short and small and then this is a new purchase that I did and it's now a mainstay in my events um, stash so I usually sign books when I'm in events or when I see people where I'm in doing like public stuff. So having this one pen koozie housing my whatever like brush pen, Sharpie, um, really is helpful because it's just easier for me to just open it up and then sign because usually I don't have a pen with me. One thing I did before was I clipped it on my ID and obviously the pen got lost, the Sharpie got lost. So this is now my mainstay. And lastly, I want to talk about this collab with the rickshaw. So when we decided on doing the workshop, Cheryl thought it'd be nice to have a collaborative item that the participants will get to take home. 
so this one is a mimic of canvas actually it's an a5 journaling pouch and the design quick story about the design i designed this like in 2016 which is like I don't know, seven years ago, I created pouches for my shop back then and it was printed on canvas. The quality was much more, um, how do you say, it's not as great as rickshaw with the lining and everything. That one was just like plain old canvas. So I discontinued it because it was just a small run and it was only limited to Philippines at that time. So I was digging through my archive and I'm like, what about this one? Sure, I was like, it looks great. So I... This is like the version 2 of that design, it's Create the Day, and it's A5, and at the back we have a little um, logo placement of ABC, Everyday Express Co, and Rickshaw, and then it's very, very handy because inside you'll see the lining of Rickshaw here, as well as this one is my favorite, it's like a divider, it's a PVC divider. And you can use it as a pencil board also, but what I like about it is if you want to separate items Then you have like paper at the back or like bulkier items in the front and washi tapes I just like that it's separate So for example if you have an insert inside or like a bunch of stamps that you want to put at the back part And then the front part is all like paper and loose sheets or like an envelope I think when I was traveling I basically stuff this to the brim and it really stores a lot even if it's not like um there's no base at the bottom it's just a really handy pouch and it's a5 so it fits a lot of um notebooks um general size notebooks that you're looking for so i really like bring this around now because it's just easy to store everything and like grab and go as well so i will be collaborating with rickshaw hopefully and having these out for a limited quantity because i know a lot of you have been asking about it so yeah this is the pouch that i designed with them and i really do hope you check out rickshaw bags i loved working with them and hopefully we'll get to work on more fun things in the future thank you so much for watching this vlog all links will be down below and also i'm done with my workshop season this year in 2023 so hopefully next year we'll have more workshops and events in the bay area thank you so much to everyone who came out came out to attend the workshops and attended all of the classes like wow you guys are awesome i really appreciate it and I'll see you online, on Patreon, here on YouTube, on Instagram, elsewhere. Take care and always be creating. Bye!